Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much once again for all of the amazing support you guys have been showing this series. Last episode reached over three thousand likes wow you guys and your support has been absolutely phenomenal lately thank you guys so much if we can keep it up with three thousand likes as a bit of a goal that would be fan free fantastic yeah oh what a way to start off the episode guys i knew i i knew i must have been close to getting it but i didn't realize i was that close wow Finally, the most powerful fishing rod in all of Terraria. 50% fishing power straight off the bat. Golden fishing rod. It is beautiful. Obviously, the only other high-end one that we might try and go for was the hotline fishing rod. But I think you get that in hard mode. I mean, you don't necessarily need that thing anymore now that we've got this accessory. But still, it would be kind of nice to try and grab it for completionist's sake, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, guys, welcome back. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on my custom crimson biome. And then hopefully, we may, uh, well, depending on how things go, we may just go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a Brain of Cthulhu fight going on. So as you can see, the crimson, it's starting to spread real nice like here. And we've got ourselves a nice big area here, which we're going to fill up entirely uh, with water. And yeah, basically... This is, this is what we're going to start off by doing. We're just going to fill this bad boy up, ladies and gentlemen, until it's totally, totally full. And then what I'd like to try and do is actually try to make myself a vicious mushroom farm. Because we're going to need vicious mushrooms if we are going to create the Brain of Cthulhu spawning item. Because we don't have the, uh, the, the little crimson heart things. Yeah, that's something we need to bear in mind. We're going to actually need to make ourselves a vicious mushroom farm farm. Uh, to be honest with you, it might be an idea to make a vile mushroom farm as well for the crimson, uh, sorry, the corruption stuffs, but eh, I don't know, man. For now, I think what I'm just going to do is focus on making this place look good and functionally be good and have lots of awesome things, basically. Oh, good sweet lord, I thought I had my frog out, but apparently not. Mr. Face Monster, so creatively named, you need to go bye byes Same with you there, buddy. Well, at least there's plenty of dudes spawning here. That's obviously a good sign. It means that we're doing the job. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get this bad boy filled up, huh? So, talking of spreading the crimson, today's comment of the day comes from Yichin Xiong, who says, Python, the thorns that grow in the crimson can grow outside your arena and spread crimson uncontrollably. So, please expand your wall higher. Okay, I appreciate the heads up there, buddy. I will go ahead and do that in just a hot second here. I mean, at the moment, I'm just trying to focus on this lake. But yeah, certainly once I've got it done, I will go ahead and just heighten the walls by a bit, I guess. I mean, that's all we need to do, really. And that should mitigate the spreading of the crimson here, right? It should mean that the only ever crimson we have is just on the surface here in this controlled area, I guess. So yeah, that's a cool idea. I appreciate it. Alrighty, guys. So what I'm doing at the moment is I am in the process of digging out my vicious mushroom farm. Now, the design I'm using here isn't exactly the most sort of technically enhanced kind of farm. Uh, and that's mostly because we don't really have access to wiring or actuators or conveyor belts or anything like that just yet. You know, this is early game. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating a one block tall area with a three block tall area. And as you can see with the pickaxe swing, we can still go ahead and, you know, destroy all of the crops above us in this, uh, in this little block section here. And yeah, it's still near enough to the point where, you know, we should be able to collect everything without any, without any hassle. So, yeah, this is probably the most basic vile slash vicious mushroom farm you can make. Uh, but it's going to do the job, my friends. It is going to do the job. Also, holy heck, there's a lot of fallen stars on the surface, ladies and gentlemen. I should probably pick them up, huh? Wow. So, yeah, some of you other guys were going ahead and telling me about the fact that there is an event called a meteor shower. And during a meteor shower, 
uh, you get Fallen Stars a lot more often, which is very, very cool. I'm very glad that they added an event like that because it means, you know, getting Fallen Stars isn't going to be too much of a hassle anymore because it always used to be, right? That's probably why no one ever used the Star Cannon. You know, the, the, the vast consensus of people who play this game probably didn't have like a, a massive Fallen Star farm road thing in the sky. So the fact that they've added that as an event now is really quite amazing. So again, Relogic, good job, man. Ah, interesting. So yeah, I do have one vicious mushroom on me because I just randomly picked it up while I was digging out the uh, the lake, right? And look at this. We've got the crimson powder here, the vicious powder, and this could be used to spread the crimson quite a lot faster, actually. Uh, so if we manage to find ourselves the dryad and just buy a bunch of seeds and then place them down at the new farm, we should be able to use the vicious powder to spread the crimson a whole bunch freaking quicker guys that we kind of nuts actually okay so at this particular moment though what i would very much like to do is i'd like to make myself some dirt walls to place in the lake wait what is that a stone door okay that's brand new i've never seen that before that's kind of nice i like that <laughs> Yeah, all right, so there we go. Dirt background walls have been placed in, so yeah. This whole area looks a little bit more natural now. I guess maybe the only other thing I need to do is to sort of smooth this out a little bit, right? And then, yeah, we've got ourselves a nice tiny little crimson floating island. Now, the intention with this is to build a little crimson base here, and then we can use that to uh, do some safe crimson fishing and then yeah all will be well ah yeah all right well slowly but surely my friends we are definitely getting there aren't we very slowly but very surely <laughs> i love it i love spending time on my builds you know and really trying to make them as good as they can be like it's just so satisfying it really really is but uh, anyway so let's go to the dryad buy some seeds and uh, yeah let's get this thing crimsonified Alrighty guys, and we're just about done with that. Now, let me just confirm to myself that this will actually work. Whoop! Yeah! Oh, wow, that actually does a bigger area than I first thought. <laughs> hey! Well, that will definitely assist with the spread of the crimson here. Hey there, buddy! What's your name? Face Monster? Wow, terrible name. You need to die for it. Right, whoop! There we go. And a little bit down there. Hey, there you go, guys. That was enough to turn this into an official crimson biome. Nice. All right. I'm, I'm definitely happy to see that one, my friends. So if I come over here... Yep, it's still Crimson Biome. Fantastic. Okay, I wanted to make sure that this was still technically within the Crimson Biome, because otherwise, you know, I'd have a hard time doing various bits of bobs, huh? Hey, buddy! How you doing? How you doing? Get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Uh-huh. Right, question. Vicious Mushrooms. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, nice one. Now, as far as I know, I think we need six of these for each of the Bloody Spine Summoner weapons. Uh, not Summoner weapons, the, uh, the Bloody Spine Summoner item. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. Question. Will the vicious mushrooms grow easier if there is no background wall? Like, is that actually a thing? I, I confess I don't actually know. I've got no idea. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and go with the theory that this needs to be, like, you know, blank background wall. So, I don't know. If it works, then great. If not, then, eh, I don't know. Maybe we could fill it in with something else. I'll tell you what, my friends. It's actually not that very often that I play on Crimson Worlds in my Let's Play series, right? I mean, usually I use Crimson Worlds as, like, a secondary world. But there is one thing I do miss, and that is actually the music. I miss the Crimson music. More so than the Crimson Biome itself. I've always been someone who's preferred the Corruption Biome for whatever reason. Whether it be, I don't know, the, the colour or the fact that, oh hey, it's it's like the OG Biome of Terrari, the OG Evil. I don't, I don't know, man. Or maybe I prefer the accessories, you know, the Band of Star Power, the Vile Thorn, the Worm Scarf, you know, all that great stuff. But with that said, a lot of you folks have been saying the Brain of Confusion is kind of overpowered now so i am very much looking forward to getting to the point where i hopefully get that thing under my belt you know that'd be fantastic so for now though let's just continue on apparently there's a gnome around somewhere i don't quite know where like has he already been petrified i mean if so then i'm gonna try and pick it up hmm. all right give me a second here i will see about finding him 
Uh, right, if it's petrified already, I can just see about picking it up. Right? Where is it? Oh, oh it's over the right hand side somewhere. Okay. Like down here or something? Where is it? Where is that pesky little bugger? I don't know where it is. I honestly don't know where it is. Huh. Okay. Well, we've got a weird mystical gnome somewhere. Quite where? I've got no idea. <laughs> and there we go, my friends. My own custom crimson biome complete with little farms and fishing lakes and various other bits and bobs. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. I mean, it might not look that great, but there's certainly some work still to be done. You know, I, I definitely want to go ahead and make a nice little crimson fishing house on this little island that I made. And then eventually in hard mode, I wouldn't mind trying to, I mean, semi-automate this farm, you know, with, you know, actuators and stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever actually used actuators before. So it would certainly be an interesting one for me to try. But hey-ho, I'd love to try and do some new things in this game man oh yeah alrighty guys so i hope you're okay with me doing this but what i'm gonna wind up doing for now just so i can continue to make progress in terms of bosses and we're not held up at you know the brain of cthulhu what i'm gonna allow myself to do is go on to a crimson world and literally just pick up the vicious mushrooms okay i mean we've already been farming the vertebrae on our main world but the vicious mushrooms they can take a fair while uh, to grow and of course like i say i think we need a minimum of six in order to make ourselves enough vicious powder uh, to get the ability to make the bloody spine. So, yeah. I guess what we got to do is find ourselves a crimson and just sort of hope for the best. Hopefully there's a bunch of mushrooms there, I guess. <laughs> Alright, come on, baby. There's got to be a crimson somewhere. Yeah! Here we go, my friends. We've just found the crimson. It was quite close to the left-hand side of the spawn, actually. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we've got ourselves at least one mushroom so far. Let's put that on our person actually and then we can keep track of what's going on so let's pop up here i'm hoping that there's gonna be some more than that like i say six minimum is what we need there's two three okay very nice very nice come on baby there's gotta be some more than that come on give me some more give me some more i want some more mushrooms give to me more mushrooms yes sir all right there's four five Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to scour the entire biome and just get however many there are. Okay, there's another one. Okay, coolio. So what? That's eight. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, right, come on. Let's just skip over this. We're looking for the shroomerunos. Any more of any more? Yep, there's these two. All right, well, uh, by the looks of it, I think we have the ability to make ourselves just the one bloody spine for now. But then we'd only need two more vicious mushrooms in order to make ourselves another one, which hopefully won't take that long on our main world. But real quick, I'll check out the remainder of the left-hand side of the world. And maybe another crimson. I don't know. We may get lucky. We may not. But in this case, I think that's just about it. Yep, there we go. We're at the end of the world, so let's go ahead and save out of that one. Uh, delete that world, and we're going to go back onto our main one, ladies and gentlemen. Because, yeah, like I say, I'd love to finally go ahead and do battle with the Brain of Cthulhu, okay? It's about freaking time I've been trying to get this thing underway for such a long time now. And now that we finally can, it feels great, my dudes. It feels great. Hey, another vicious mushroom. Huh. Okay, I must have got that from a different alternate world. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's pretty cool. All right, do a little bit of the old quick stack action. And we are heading uh, back to base here. Let me just check on the fishing quest real quick. Underground tundra. Eh, a little bit too far out for, me, uh, for my liking at the moment. So I'm going to give that one a bit of a skip. And yeah, let's do this thing, my friends. So we've got to pop on here, make ourselves a bunch of vicious powder. 55 in fact very very nice and i'm pretty darn sure i had some more vertebrae stacked away so let's just have a quick look yep it quick stacked which means it's in here somewhere 27 okay so i think all we need now is a crimson or demon altar right i have a, i don't think i found a single one outside of the corruption biome huh all right, well, I guess to the corruption we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, okay, so 30 vicious powder and 15 vertebrae is suffice enough to make ourselves the bloody spine. 
All right. Nice one. Nice one. All right, guys. So I guess all that's left to do now is to go ahead and just sort of tidy up our inventory just a tiny wee bit here. Maybe get ourselves some buffs and then get this thing on the way, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to it? Let's just get this thing going. Oh, snappers. Okay, so meteorite bar. I can't remember how one makes the star cannon. Uh, okay, so there's the meteorite armor. But how do you make the star cannon? Uh, I confess I don't know. Do we need the illegal gun parts? Is that something I might need? Do we even have the dude? Uh... Wait, do we not have an arms dealer? Seriously? Wow, we don't even have an arms dealer. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> All right, Guidey. Your help is required, sir. I want to know how to make the, the, the star cannon. That would be so freaking cool. Uh, mini shark. Oh, god damn it. All right, so yes, we do need ourselves uh, the arms dealer. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and use the star cannon for maybe, I don't know, the, the wall of flesh. I mean, I feel like that's a good idea, right? Huh. All right, well, for now, let's go put all this stuff away. Uh... Hmm, I don't know. We've got 111 of these bars. Let me just have a look. I just want to try and total something up here. So 10, 30, 45 required for the full set of armor. And then 20 required for this, which is what, 65 now. And then another 20, which is 85, which gets us a star cannon. And then another 20, 105, gets us a hammock. So actually... I could probably make the whole shaboodle here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think the time has come. We've got ourselves the full meteorite armor. So 21 defense down to 18. It is technically going down, but it doesn't matter because we have infinite space gun, which is fantastic. Also, it's got a different sound. Huh, interesting. I did not know that they changed the sound, so that's kind of cool. And yep, there's the hammock. So we've basically saved ourselves an inventory slot. But anyways, guys... Talking aside, buff up, and here we go. The first ever time taking down the Brain of Cthulhu on this world. Uh, certainly weird to say that, isn't it? Considering this is a cor corruption world, technically speaking. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I feel like this is going to be, like, unbelievably easy. You know? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay. I guess when it gets to second phase, that might be when things start getting a little bit interesting. Also, is it just me, or does the Brenner Cthulhu seem larger than usual? Or is it because I've just got things zoomed in a bit? I don't know. All right. Oh, there he goes. All right. Oh, all about the dodging now, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wonder if the, uh, I wonder if the shark ram would actually do a better job. Yeah, I don't know. One, two, three. Okay. One, two. Okay, maybe just like a couple hits per time. I mean, is it even doing anything? I don't know. I, I would almost argue that the yo-yo is actually doing a better job right now. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, yeah. Just got to keep ourselves going here real quick. And I've just noticed as well, you can't actually see the health bar. Like, you normally get like a little representation of a health bar above the real Brain of Cthulhu. I don't know if they nerfed that. <laughs> I mean, if so, then I guess that kind of makes sense. But uh, anyways. Ah, uh, uh, which one are you? I can't actually tell. Oh, God. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah. Hey. Wait, what? That was the achievement? But I thought... What? I honestly thought I already had that. Wow. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, which one was it? Something Slayer, wasn't it? Oh, man, I wish I could search through this. Oh, dude, that's so nuts, man. I honestly thought that achievement sort of unachieved itself because we were going to go ahead and take down the Empress of Light. But then, then again, it was only one below the amount, wasn't it? It was like 14 out of 15. So by that logic, it should have been two below because there's the queen slime as well now, right? Huh. All right, well, whatever the case, that was very peculiar, but I will absolutely freaking take it. Boom! There's the Brain of Confusion, 303 Crimtain Ore. Absolutely beautiful. And, of course, the beautiful Brain of Cthulhu Relic. Brain in a jar summons a spider brain. That sounds terrifying. All right, well, let's put it on. Let's have a look at it. Whoa. Yeah, uh, Loki, I actually, 
Is it, is it just me who actually kind of prefers this pet over the Eater of Worlds pet? Like, let's take a look at the Eater of Worlds. I mean, this guy's pretty awesome. But I think I actually prefer the other guy. I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I crazy for, th for, for thinking that? I mean, I don't even like spiders in real life, but this guy's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, there we go. Brain of Confusion, apparently buffed for 1.4, has a chance to create illusions and dodge an attack. Temporarily increase critical critical strike chance after a dodge and may confuse nearby enemies after being struck. Holy crap. That's got a lot of stuff on it now. All right. Well, I'm kind of excited to uh, give that a go against Queen Bee, actually. Which I guess would be the next boss in progression. So, yeah. Exciting times, my friends. Exciting times. But anyways, for now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. We've worked on our Crimson Biome a ton more. And we've taken down a Brain of Cthulhu. I mean, what else could we ask for? I mean, a very Crimson-themed episode. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. Do be sure to drop a like rating if you have enjoyed it. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next next episode.